Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Mid Journey version 6 alpha and transform your web design project. And right now, I'm currently inside the website of Mid Journey Alpha. You'll notice that there is an alpha writing on it or a doodle. And just to take note, you can unlock this one. You need to list, I think, generate at least 100 images, and there is a voting process. I have a video about the voting process, so please check it out. I think I voted for, I think, go to task here, rank images. And as you can see right here, you need to vote at least 200 to unlock the alpha. As you can see right here, they're just checking your specialization here. And then you can unlock alpha well together. Now going back on the explore tab right here, these are all the images created by other creators. If you click on this one, this is an awesome image. That is a prompt. Now what can we do with this prompt? On the right side, there is a heart icon. There is an option right there where you can copy, download, or basically you can search this one using this prompt. There's also the specific um, rules or version that is used on the XPS ratio right there to generate this prompt. Also, you can use them as an image, as a reference image, of course, as a style, and basically as a prompt. So if I click on prompt right there, it will automatically go here and simply click on answer. I can generally, if I click there, job submitted, under create, you'll notice that there is a zero out of one. So that means there is a pending job inside of it. Speaking of create, if I go there right now, this is the one being created under 100% completed. And there we have it. So these are the videos created by us using that exact prompt we had from other creators. This one right here. That is the mid journey alpha for you. Now, I know you're familiar with Midjourney, the Discord server. Let me just go to it right here. As you can see, this is going to be the Midjourney bot. Now, if you want to go inside the Midjourney itself, it should be around here. I know you have familiar with this. Simply type in image imagine, something like that. Type in, for example, the specific prompt for this one. Let me just copy this. Give me a second. Perfect. So I'm going to go for prompt, go for Midjourney. Select that one. And now it's basically creating that exact photo using the Discord server. And personally for me, the mid journey server of Discord is cluttered. It's outdated for me. Now focusing on this images right here, you can do a lot of stuff. You can upscale, um, vary, and do a lot more. And this is the one we have here. So you can upscale which one you want. For example, I want the number four. If I have the number four right there, I can now vary very region upscale i can simply download this one as it is but this is very cluttered outdated for me so i'm more on leaning i like more the website itself which is going to be the mid journey alpha and now what is basically the difference with mid journey and mid journey alpha now with this one you'll notice under create options you'll have this option wherein if you're not creating prompt there is a reference image you can use this is actually the same one as the mid journey before, but this is much more easier to access because on the discord server, you need to type separate prompts. For example, this goes right here. You need to memorize them. Not unlike here, you can just simply type that, click that one. For example, let me just look for the one I have, this one right here. These are the style references that I have. As you can see, each one of them, I just simply click on it and it goes right inside the prompt. I don't have to memorize them anymore. That is the power of Mid Journey Alpha. But what set it apart? What is the most difference of Mid Journey Alpha using the Mid Journey server? Now, if I have a prompt right here, if you go to the settings, there we have it. You can now successfully, or in other words, a much more advanced settings in which you want. For example, the salarization, you can up this up, the weirdness, the variety, this one right here for the more options if you want turbo and fast for the version you can easily change it without using the dash settings right here because in the mid journey server if you want to change your um, version you need to go to settings first and choose that one there's a lot of things going on there however in the website itself it is very simple and organized same goes with the personalized you can turn it on and off for the mode you can go for raw a standard of course, for the image sizes right here, you didn't have to memorize each one of the references. And then, basically that's it. That is the power of Pidgeon Alpha. 
I like this setting so much, this is new one. Now, if you can't see this option on your end, for example, you don't have this option just yet, make sure you finish the task, this one right here, to have unlocked the mid journey alpha. Now, for some reason, you have successfully removed or finished this task of rating or ranking 200 images, you can just, just wait and wait for an update on the journey. Because not everyone has this alpha just yet. It's still being slowly rolled out to the public. Now, since we have discussed the settings with this one, Let's try a prompt, okay? Not just the settings. So, if I choose this one, the settings right there, I can choose a specific image. I think I'm gonna go with 344. For the mode, I'm gonna go for standard. Version 6.1, of course. I'm gonna turn off the personalization, because personalization is basically checking or styling the prompt or output image based on my liking. Now, stylization. This is gonna be influencing how strong your mid journey aesthetic is applied. I think the most recommended here is 2.0. 0 or 2.6 something like that i'm gonna remain it as it is or click on reset to make sure it's gonna be under 100. for the speed of course we always was fast i'm gonna go for turbo as you can see right here for the relax the generators are slower but won't spend fast hours so with this one i think we're good to go here and simply click on enter of course I almost forgot we have a version 6.1 enabled and you can add some more prompts here for example as promised if you want to add some style references, some style raw, some style rise right there, you can do so. Again, if I click on answer right now, let's wait for the magic to happen. It won't take long because we have enabled turbo and I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Right now these are going to be our results, very powerful. With this one I think I'm going to go with this second example as a discussion, sorry about that. So for the create actions, I have more options here regarding remix, pan, more options, or zoom. But for the given, I have vary if I can rechange it, for example, subtle or strong. If I click on subtle right there, I'm going to create another job, which is going to be this one right here. Now going back, I can rerun, reframe, or repaint, or basically use an image reference, use a style, or the prompt copy is this one. Again, guys, if I have it right here, as you can see, the differences of this one versus the four ones are right there it's a bit subtle I'm focusing more on the cupcake now giving with this one i think this is a good one if i click on repaint right here it will bring me on this tab where i can choose which one i use i have a mask option the square one or the most favorite lasso option so for the lasso i think i'm gonna cover her eyes something like that and make sure i'm gonna type in something so a visually appealing advertisement of a product Lying in the palm of a woman wearing sunglasses. Let me just properly explain or type sunglasses. If I click on answer right now, this job has been successfully submitted and will now create in a few seconds. Take note we are under Turbo, which is a paid subscription. And basically, it will not take that much time. Speaking about subscription, let's check how much the pricing here. Now, welcome back to the video. With this one, this is going to be the pricing. We have the basic plan of $10, standard plan of $30, Pro of $60, and Mega of $120. And basically, that's it. Now, let's go back on the Create tab right here, wherein the sunglasses are right there. Now, as you can see, it did not really give us sunglasses because this is going to be focusing on the cupcake. But look at the eyes. We have it right there. So, let's try repainting it one more time. And with this one, let me just highlight everything right there. I think I want some more here wearing some shades in the eyes. Or let's just say glasses. So that woman's wearing glasses for us. Let's now wait for it to finish. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Right now this is the results we have. As you can see right here, the first one we tried only gave us red eyes. But it is actually really good. Especially the eyes right there, right? However, if we tried one more time, we have this one right here. We have this four right there. I think this is good also. Now the reason we need to try or try two times to have those sunglasses is that our main prompt is focusing on the advertisement of a cupcake. Now, if we ask the journey to change the woman in the background, it will require a bit more specific prompting. And that's why we needed to make sure that we are now understandable on mid journey. Basically, that's it. Again, if you're gonna ask me which is the best image generation tool for me, 
I'm still sticking with me journey. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.